Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all a quick update. Guys, it's going to be from my phone here, so bear with me. It's raining outside. If you hear some noise in the background, that's what it is. But I want to bring this to you, and this is just a quick update on Theta. And if you guys like these short updates like this on just coins that I've been looking at, things I'm interested in, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, let me know down low. So what we're looking at here. Theta, since about January, has been in a beautiful uptrend in terms of the higher lows that have been coming in on this chart. And what I want you to pay attention to, guys, is the length of this trend line. This trend line's been up now for about six months or so. We've been having those higher lows. So what you do typically when you have trend lines that are like that and they're more shallow like this one, they should almost be seen as very strong support. So for me personally, I may be looking at a potential long area down here around that 200 day moving average, which is in white, as well as that yellow trend line. And you see that blue box? That's kind of my potential buy area if things are still potentially looking good. Now we would wanna see a bounce off that yellow trend line with some nice form of candle um, formation, basically a nice bullish candle formation. We could even have a bullish Harami, bullish engulfing. We could have a hammer, some type of a doji off that trend line. But that's the area that I'm going to be looking at for a potential bounce and a move up to try to start challenging these moving averages that are acting as overhead resistance right now. I also wanted to point out that the RSI here on the one day charts at 49. So we're more in that neutral territory. So there's definitely more room for us to calm down or pull back a little bit more onto this trend line than potentially get a bounce. But what you wanna see for these things to hold up, guys, is that confluence of like how we would have the 200 day moving average that we've been up above now for about four months or so correlating with that yellow trend line guys and that could be that nice strong area for a bounce so i just wanted to put this on your radar i'm not long on it yet i'm looking at it i'm paying attention to it i want to see if we continue to have more pullback because remember with this space anything can happen in terms of bitcoin goes crazy to the downside or something it doesn't matter about the higher lows or the chart pattern a lot of the times it'll just drag it right down with it same with ethereum different things like that so i just want to put this more so on your radar guys if you like me covering theta let me know down low i was looking on coin market cap and it looks or not coin market cap coin checkup.com and it looks like theta is actually doing really well I believe it's in the top 50 overall so i want to bring this to you all guys have a wonderful day like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I appreciate you. God bless.